Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the quartiles of the scientific journal. Uh, if you uh, have uh, come through the different journals, uh, many of journals uh, normally we are talking about the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So first let us understand what is this uh, quartiles. Uh, this journal quartiles are also called as journal uh, quartile score that is a metric which is commonly normally going to be used for ranking of journals within a specific category or field of research means you cannot whenever we are going to use these quartiles uh, it's not all the journals are going to be divided into four quartiles it depends on the journal which is publishing papers articles in a specific area so ranking within the specific area or a specific field of research we are having the categorizations so these journals are normally classified into the quartiles based on their impact factor or other matrices. Other matrices means other para uh, parameters or other characteristic features. Okay. So journals quartiles are often used to uh, the context of bibliometric database and journal citation index such as Scopus or WebOption. These are the two major uh, databases which we are commonly using. And these two databases are going to uh, classify journals on the basis of quartiles. So the quartile ranking provides a relative indication of journals importance and impact compared to the other journal in the same category or which is going to publish the public papers in the same field. Okay, so uh, this is normally journal quartiles are going to be used by two most authoritative databases which commonly we are using that is Scopus and Web of Science. Quartiles is one of the main indicator in the worlds of academic research for specific for journals. So uh, the it evaluates the quality of scientific publication based on the citation matrices because uh, both Scopus and WS mainly the classification or the quality of journal is decided by the citations. So most of the uh, matrices of the journals are um, decided it is going to be decided about the deciding factor is citations so journals are normally going to be divided into four quartiles uh, the quartiles classification divides journals uh, within a subject uh, a specific category into four equal groups or quartiles based on their citation impact and or its influences so that is this is q1 q2 q3 and q4 if you will uh, see what is this q1 q2 q3 q4 so to determine the quartile of the journals or uh, its impact factor or the site score is going to be used which reflects how many times article from a journal have been cited in other scientific publications over a specific period in same field or the in the relevant field so the classification of journals based on the impact factor or impact factors comes from the citation only so when we are talking about the q1 uh, so journals in the first quartile are considered to have the highest citation impact within the subject category. They normally represent the top 25% of the journals uh, in terms of the number of citations received. In other words, you can call it also like Q1 journals have the most significant influence and are often regarded as the prestigious and high impact publications within that particular field. Then comes Q2. So journals in the second quarter represent the middle 50% in terms of citation impact. They are not as highly cited as Q1 journals, but are still well regarded and have substantial influence within the same category. Then we are having Q3. Uh, journals in the third quarter have the lower citation impact compared to Q1 and Q2 journals. And then re they represent the next 25% of the journals in terms of citation impact. So roughly 50% to the 75%. And the fourth, last one, Q4, journals in the fourth quartiles have the lowest citation impact within the subject category. They represent the bottom 25% of journals in terms of citation and are considered to have the less influence and the significant in compared to the other Q1, Q2 or Q3. So these are the four quartiles of the journals we are having. Easy way to find quartiles for journals, you can uh, find out in Web of Science or uh, into their scopus. 
today we are going to see how you can find uh, quartiles into the scopus so first i will uh, show you the give you the different steps and then i will go to the scopus and i will show it to you how you can find quartiles of the journals so first thing what you have to go you have to go to the uh, scopus.com whenever you are going to open scopus.com so this type of window you are going to see and in this case we are going to see at this place so now click on the sources which you are going to see here you have to find the sources this scopus website is auto populated auto populated means whatever journals keywords you are going to find it if you will put few keywords here uh, like at the place of enter title or it will auto suggest you number of journals related to that particular keywords so you have to find the specific according to title we are going to select the journals you can search journal in four different ways into the scopus that is on the basis of title issn number publishers or the subject area but here we are going to search about from the title now like in this case in the example we are going to see the journal of industrial textiles has been find searched so after searching you are going to see this type of window so you have seen here uh, the journal of industrial title uh, that is because some uh, its uh, matrices we are going to see it means this journal is a scopus index now what we are going to do we are going to see on the left hand side we are going to see four quartiles are written there first quartile second quartile third quartile the fourth quartile I want to see in which quartal this journal is belonging. So what I will do, I will first select quart first quartile and press this button apply. As soon as I am going to select the first quartile and click on the apply button, if this journal will belong to the first quartile, journals will be there otherwise no result will be seen there. If no result is coming, then you have to deselect the first quartile and select second quartile and again press the apply button and see journal is coming into the second quartile or not you have to repeat this step four times till your journal is visible in any of those four quartiles so this is the step which we are going to see here uh, like uh, this is one way how we are going to see in the scopus i will show you how you can see this is the scopus.com website I am going to find out into the sources. So I will go to the sources and I will search some of the journals. Like I am going to search a journals that is BioInter. Like I have searched BioInterface and it has suggested where these keywords. So I have told you this journal is auto populated. So I am going to search this BioInterface research in applied chemistry journals and I have searched it. Automatically this journal came here. So it means because we are going to see some of the matrices here, it means this journal is in quartiles. So means it is in the Scopus index. Now we are going to see four quartiles are visible here. I want to see this journal is belonging to Q1 or Q2 or Q3 or Q4. So what I will do, I will select the Q1 and I will apply it. If this journal will be in the Q1, because here we are going to see no uh, resources are where found, it means this journal is not belonging to Q1. Then what I will do, I will deselect it, I will select Q2 and again I will press the apply button and again this journal is not coming here, it means this journal is not in the Q2 also. Then what I will do, I will deselect it, I will press the Q3 and I will find out. So now this journal automatically visible into the Q3. So it means this journal is belonging to in Q3 category. This is one way. Second thing, uh, you can click on this journals. And you will get all the things here in this same tab you are going to see site score and their ranks are visible there you can see this is an, in this field like this journal is belonging uh, serving into the four specific areas in case of biotechnology there are 299 journals are listed in this corpus out of this 299 it's this journal's rank is 160 and if you will see it, this one this is coming around uh, in the field I will tell you 160th rank so this is and this is here you are going to see 46th rank means if any journal is belonging to 90 hundred to up to 75th percentile that will be into the Q1 means in this case if you will select see any of the journals up to here 
means this this up to this gender so that will be in q2 in case of biotechnology fields if you we'll take this 74th to 50 that will be into the q2 and then we are having q3 so this general bio interface research belonging to the 46th because it is less than 50 so 50 to 25th that is into the q3 category so this is one way by which we are going to see it second option is how we are going to see it we are going to see a specific website that is called as sjr or cymago website on the cymago website also you can see number of information about the journals and quartiles also like you can see this is the journal main in india i have searched it and i have got this window so it means this journal after 27 year is not there for coverage means this journal is not in scopus index first thing second thing from the same website you can see number of informations like its h index you can go directly to the home page of this journal you can see ICSN, ICSN number similarly i have searched for another journal that is called phytomedicines its h index is 133 and you can see the coverage is up to 22 it means this journal is in scopus index and directly from here you can go to the home page what are the other things we are going to see on to this so this is how we are going to if you go to the Cymago website, I will take you to the Cymago website also. And there you can see the different color has been given. Like this phytomedicine journal is in Q1. This is in Q2 and this is in Q3 and this is Q4. So this is color specific coding is there. Because one journals belonging to in different fields. Like I'm, if I look at phytomedicine in one category, it will belong to the Q1. It might be possible that same journal will belong to the Q2 category in another field. So the same journal that I will show you on to the uh, Cymago website. Like this is the journals. Journal of Anesthesiology, uh, Clinical Pharmacology. This is the main page. This journal is a Scopus Index because you are going to see there. Second thing you will see, this is the things I was talking about. This journal is serving in three specific fields like anesthesiology and pain medicine, pharmacology and pharmacology, toxicology, pharmaceutical medicine. You can see uh, this journal is belonging to three specific category. Like if you see the color here, four different colors are there. Uh, so these colors normally denotes their quartiles. So same journals at the same time belong to the uh, different fields. Like you can see here, in this case, in 22nd also, it, for anesthesiology and pain medicine, uh, pharmacology toxicology it belongs to the same quartiles but for pharmacology medicine it is into the different field so this is when you are going to take your cursor to this one on this particular uh, color codes it is automatically show you q1 or q2 other than that one this uh, cymago website is also going to show you the similar journals in the same field and their percentage similarity also it is going to show it to you then you are going to you can see the number of other parameters number of other matrices on the same website on the Cymago website as well as you can see the quartiles here this journal is belonging to the q2 category in this field so this is how you are you can see the quartiles of the journals into the Cymago website as well as onto the escopus website so if you go to the before uh, signing off from this website if I'll go to the Cymago website, like I'm searching the SJR to the first button, I'll go and I'll search here anything. Same general, I'm going to search bio inter face research in applied chemistry. If you will see these journals, I'm going to this this quarter. Like here, you can see uh, this is serving into four category. In biotechnology, you have already seen that this is belonging to the Q3 category there in the Scopus website also. But here, you can see in the biochemistry field, it is falling into the Q4 category. Here, molecular biology Q4 category, molecular medicine Q4 category. So normally, when a journal is falling into the multiple category, multiple quartiles in different fields. Scopus normally takes the highest quartile. So in this case, because it is Q3 and Q4 category, so Q3 will be visible to the Scopus. When you are going to show, this is the similar type of journals, uh, which is a percentage of similarity, as well as this is how their SJR has been increased or decreasing. So the graph which is showing you to the 
uh, into the different matrices and then you can see their quartiles so this is how you can find the journal quartiles into the SciMago website as well as into those focus so this is all about for today hope you have understand it if you have not subscribed my channel you can subscribe it if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box thank you very much have a nice day